Good day, everyone. This is Kevin T. Robertson, CEO of speakerfocus.com. Here with the one and only Mr. Austin Troyer, CTO. We are going in like only we know how to on the speakerfocus.com platform. It has been a very interesting day here at speakerfocus.com. A lot of nice developments. Talk to some wonderful people today. We are forever growing our platform with a lot of great people, more talent than I could ever imagine that we'd be working with at this stage in the game. It is really amazing to be able to see the growth of a business when you put your all into it. We want the very best for you on the platform as well. Welcome to the weekly group Q&A call on the speakerfocus.com platform where we cover and answer any and all questions pertaining to growing your speaker brand. <clears throat> as we jump into it, if you have a question, you know the rules, utilize the raise hand feature and either put your question in the chat box. We will get to each and every one of them. One thing I love about doing the weekly Q&A calls is that, again, it's a diverse level of talent that we onboard every single day at speakerfocus.com. And we have all these different niches and these people in the in the different genres that they speak on and the different target markets. And the thing I love the most is the absolute creativity that goes into the messaging formula and the way people express themselves and the brands that they put together way before they even came on board our platform. And by the time we get the brand and people are developing these things with their brand, we get a chance to help them mold it and shape it into something that's that's very special you know teaching people how to talk to conference coordinators every single day is one one of my favorite things that i love about being ceo of speakerfocus.com i love it because i get a chance to make a connection with people that's something i really really love to do and it's something that keeps me going i love to do these group calls because you know you get the interaction you get a chance to, to talk to people that you haven't spoken to in a while. You get a chance to hear about people's growth and development. And that's what we're really all about here. So again, um, okay, I see a question starting to roll through in the chat box. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, Munya, I'm doing great this evening. Uh, Munya, I believe we sent back the information on your bio. It, it should have been approved. If you, if you had it broken up into eight paragraphs, you should move on to module two if you if you've finished up module number one. And you should be working on your sales tools now going over the checklist for your speaker video demo and your speaker info kit. And you should be moving on so you can start getting your website up and things of that nature. So, but I will double check in the support tickets if you I believe we responded to your support ticket and approved your bio, Munya. So you should be moving on. Now, anybody uh, with a question about messaging, question about your sales tools, question about automation? Okay, well, uh, Miss Tina Marie from Miss Tina Marie Speaks LLC is up first. Miss Tina, how can we help you? Good evening, everyone. How are you? I'm doing super fantastic. Very interesting day at speakerfocus.com, to say the least. A Monday actually felt like a Friday for a change, but it was, uh, nonetheless, it was all good. What's your question, Tina? Excellent. If you could go over the proper steps of branding on your social media and the proper protocol of branding, please. Mm, could you be a little bit more specific when you say branding? When, are you, what would it be a little bit more specific as it, as it pertains to social media? As my brand is, life is a gift wrapped in precious moments and the people we experience them with. Okay. My brand can go in leadership as well as empowerment. Mm -hmm. I guess my question is what are the proper steps to make sure I'm on target when I'm on social media? such as say Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, any of those social media platforms. Okay. Well, uh, the first thing is gonna be 
my and, th and this is from personal this is from personal experience of this is pre Kevin T Robertson before I met Austin before I learned <clears throat> excuse me before I learned about how to run a multi million dollar sales funnel and the way I was posting prior to having a sales funnel everyone needs to understand that eventually you are going to have and Austin teaches you about this in module 5 when when you when he's teaching you how to build the speaker growth engine you are operating make no mistake about it you are going to be operating a speaker sales funnel okay whether or not you're doing the paid outreach or whether or not you're doing the free organic outreach you are managing a sales funnel you're if you're if you're not in it if you don't have your automation set up right now then perhaps a lot of speakers don't understand how they should be managing their social media. Mm -hmm. Now, Tina, social media is a it should be used as a support tool to your sales funnel, which means that any and everything that you post should complement and support your sales funnel. Now, the reason why a lot of people don't post the right things is because they're they're not thinking about the end first. They're just sharing stuff, taking up real estate space, because that's what your social media is. That's valuable real estate space. Every time you share something that does not complement your sales funnel, I want you to think about it. How does this look to the conference coordinator? And for those of you who are thinking, oh, I have a personal page <clears throat> and I have a public figure page. Well, guess what? What comes up in the search ranking when they do a Google search on your name the, per, the public figure page and the personal page is still gonna show up. So you're thinking, oh, I could post whatever I want to on my personal page. Okay, great. Post up a bunch of pictures with you with a red cup in your hand, hanging out at the beach all the time, getting turned up. What does that have to do with helping the conference coordinator? So, so Tina, I want you to think about, and everybody else that's listening to this because you need to understand, is your, is your social media becoming is it indicative, is the behavior you're posting on your social media, is that indicative or becoming of a professional paid speaker? Are you sharing things that don't complement your sales funnel? Are you sharing things that have value to the conference coordinator? Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. For instance, if you look at the way I manage my social media, I don't post anything personal. It's just a preference. Some people, part of their brand is incorporating their family. I don't, I don't manage my social media like that. I am not on social media for social purposes. I'm on social media to teach, train, and give away free information. That's just my opinion, Tina. If you're not utilizing it for that, then there's so many people that do it the wrong way. When you're not operating a sales funnel, they think they could just post anything they want. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yes, it does. All right. So what kind of content are you posting right now is the question on your social media. Are you posting stuff for you or the conference coordinator? Conference coordinator. Okay. So then you're doing it right. As well. Yeah, you're doing it right. I believe that you don't have to make every single post about the conference coordinator. Am I telling you that? No. I, I believe that you should be some posting content that supports your brand. But that brand better be somewhere close to converting that target buyer into revenue. Because when they go, last but not least on this, Tina, and then Ramon, I'll be right with you. I see your hand up. When they start clicking on all the links and getting information about you and your brand, and believe me, they're going to click on every single thing that you have out there in the marketplace because they have to to make their decision about whether or not they want to book you as a speaker. All I would say is, what are they going to find out when they start clicking on your social media? Because that is the first place they're going to go. And if it's something about your brand that says, oh, that made sense. I, I saw a video about Tina talking about life is a gift wrapped in precious moments. Oh, I saw her talking about, oh, she's the human connections magnet. Oh, I understand why. She connects resources and people together. Right. Or oh, I saw this post on LinkedIn about, you know, she had this really great article where she talked about, you know, how she can help conference coordinators do their job better. See, 
that's what I'm, when I click on all these links, what am I going to find out? Good for you that you're headed in the right direction and you post great content. And I hope everybody else got something out of that as well, because that's the first place they're going to start. Let me check out their IG. Let me check out their Facebook. Let me check out their LinkedIn. Let me pull up their YouTube channel. It, that's the place where you make your money. It's a great support tool. Any other questions, Tina? No, that was it. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're very welcome. Have a great evening. You do the same. Uh-huh. Okay, Ramon Ron is up next. Mr. Ron, how are you today, brother? I'm fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you just fine. Good, good. Um, I had a question. I wrote it in the uh, support. I put in a support ticket for it. But on the, um, I'm, you know, working on my blog. Well, I, already, I finished three of them. Um, my question was um, that on the topics of the blog, are they, do they strictly got to be about leadership or could it be about social issues, or events that happen in politics or, or in, in society? Um, you know, am I limited? Should I be limited to only my leadership? To write about leadership? No, you're not, you're not limited on it. Uh, but, but let me, let me ask you this, this five guys, when you go into five guys, do they try to sell you chicken? No, uh, they okay. sandwich, but no, 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 no. I said five guys, five guys doesn't sell chicken at all. Period. Right. I got you. They specialize in hamburgers. So right. the more you can specialize in one thing, Ramon, instead of being a generalist, uh -huh. the, more, the more you can focus on one thing, the okay. better off you're going to be. So you can talk about activism or whatever, but what, what do your signature programs talk about? What kind of value right. is found inside your signature programs? It doesn't have to be about leadership all the time, but it should be about your niche. There is a lot of I things you can talk about under your niche. So right. I'd say pick one and start talking about that all the time. See, this is, this is another thing that you that you need to understand about your social media or your blog that's a place where they can get exclusive content especially your blog on your website so you should be posting content that's gonna keep them intrigued and keep people engaged you want to build a reputation where they know they can come to you and get that exclusive information again i use five guys and chick-fil-a and many other people to specialize on one thing the reason why they do it so well is because all they do is focus on one thing. And it's, it's, it's Ramon, this is a tendency. There's so many people on our platform, they're, they're multi-talented, just like you. You're an author, you have a wealth of corporate experience, you're an entrepreneur, you know, you're very articulate, very intelligent. But that shit gets you in trouble a lot of times because you want to do everything all at the same time. What one thing do you want to focus on right now that you want the conference coordinators to know about you? What is that? Right, leadership. No, I mean, un under the category of leadership, what's your specialty? What thing about leadership do you want to focus on? Is it activism? Is it, is it, cor is it corporate leadership? What is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, corporate leadership. Okay, Ramon, so why don't you start with the first 25 or 30 posts focusing on corporate leadership and how you can help people manage their, their way out of the pandemic? Why don't you start there? Okay. What were you thinking about prior to me giving you that idea, by the way? What were you thinking about posting on your blog? Um, it, was about, um, it was about leadership, but it was about relationships and how your supervisors or managers their relationships are building the relationships with um, with their employees. I see no problem with that at all. Is now now watch this. You can talk about relationships because that matters. And what does it take to be an effective leader? You got to be able to know how to manage relationships. Why don't you post something on your blog? Why don't you write a LinkedIn article? Why don't you drop some videos as how people can manage their relationships better coming out of the pandemic? Bro, do you understand what's going on right now? Everybody's broken. We're in a mental health crisis. These corporations are suffering from a massive amount of dysfunction. It's a prime opportunity for you to craft your message and speak. You got to start speaking to people 
and meet them where they are in the time that we're in right now. Right. We're in a time of uncertainty. Relationships are fractured. Am I going to, when I come to your blog and I read one of your articles on LinkedIn, are you going to tell me something about relationships that's going to help me? Because that's what I'm looking for. Ramon, last but not least, they call it the slight edge advantage. Rico Miller, I see you in the, with your hand up. I'll be right with you. They call it the slight edge advantage, Ramon. That means if I know just one or two more things better than my competition, if I could come to Ramon's blog and I can read something, if he can help me just gain another inch, if he can help me move another foot, if he can help me take another step closer to my goal, then he's done his job. So when they come to your page, don't run them into circles, jump right into it, layer your story, value, 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 and more value. Okay. That's building bridges out of uncertainty and build, helping the conference coordinator build a bridge from where they are. Your services are going to help them get to the next level. And that's what you should be posting when you are on your social media because it matters. All of it matters. Don't just talk just to be talking. Everybody's talking, but nobody's speaking. You got it? Got it. Ramon, when you get one of your posts up or your or your before you post it on your blog, send it to supporters, speakerfocus.com. Let us run through it and we'll read the post before you put it up. I'll tell okay. you if it's horrible. Ramon, you're a writer, so you're not gonna have a problem with that at all. Right. Well, I sent you three of them. You said when did you see them? You you oh you said well, to the support ticket today? Yeah, no, it was yeah, yeah, it was today. Yeah. Okay, what's today? Okay, well, well, I haven't got an opportunity to see it. I've been on calls all day. We'll check yeah, it tonight, and then we'll we'll uh, I'll give you some feedback and critique it, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be some great reading. I'll give you a couple of tips if it's not hitting, if it's not hitting the core messaging of your target audience. How's that sound? Okay. Sounds good. Okay, boss. All right, thanks. Talk to you real soon. Yep. All right, bye bye. Uh huh. Okay, Rico Miller. Rico Miller, how are you, sir? I am doing just great, sir. How are you? Doing super fantastic, man. Super good, fantastic. Good stuff. Good stuff. I got a quick question for you. On the, I sent in my template, yes. my programs and, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the template with the bullet points from the questionnaire, so to speak. Yes. Um, and I basically, the feedback I got was to put it into the paragraph form and to make sure that, uh, yeah, to put it in paragraph form. So kind of reading more from a paragraph perspective or more from a bio perspective, I guess. Was but that your my, bio? I'm, I'm sorry, Rico. Was that with for your bio or was that for your signature programs? Which one are you referring to? I, actually, it was, it was a combination of both. So oh, that's I had right. Both. No, no, no. I remember, Rico, because, you know, I because I, I looked at that myself. Yeah. Okay. So you, okay. This is what you did. You put everything inside of the signature program worksheet. Okay. And then I believe what I sent you back was I stripped away all of the questions and everything because I, I clearly understand what direction you're going in. You had great content and the way you answered the questions, I believe was really on point. You answered them in the third person mm -hmm. and you gave great, you, your bullets were strong and your opening paragraphs were strong. What I needed you to do was move it all over to a more simplistic format and mm -hmm. then fill in the rest of the fill in the rest of the information and send it back over to us. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because that's what I was wanting to make sure of. Yeah. Um, that's that all that was missing. I believe that your your uh, obviously your your credentials were stellar for your bio. Just make sure that those are in eight separate paragraphs when you answer the questions. And again, when I read through your bullets and your opening paragraphs, uh, it just felt right. You know, I go off a of vibe and I also look at it from the perspective of the conference coordinator. Remember, effective communication, Rico, it should feel good mm -hmm. emotionally, and it should sound good to the ear. Mm -hmm. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm looking for when I check over any of your assignments. Yeah. I believe that when you move it over to a format and fill, fill in the rest of the blanks, you know, you're gonna be able to approve that for you so you can move on to the next time. Okay, all right, appreciate it. No that's problem, brother. Thank you, any sir. other questions? No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, sir. Hey, you, listen, you're right where we need you to be. You hit the ground running. You ask questions. You're, you're getting the work done, even with your schedule. And we appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Okay, Rico. Talk to you real soon. Thank you. All right, boss. Okay, let's oh. move on to the next person. Uh, Mr. Escobar, how can I help you? Uh, 
I'm sorry, Rafa. I gotta, I gotta allow talk first. That might be a great idea, KTR. <laughs> Rafa, you there, brother? I'm with you, KTR. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's going on, boss? How you feeling? I'm feeling really good, man. I just got back from a little road trip from visiting my parents. You know what I'm saying? And everything is good over here. But I got a couple questions for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what we're here for on the Monday call, bro. Let me, uh, let all me right. hear. I'm all ears. All right, cool. So. As I heard you talking about niching down, I find myself finding uh, having the same issue at times where I feel like I'm good at a lot of things and then I don't do nothing, right? Yeah. However, I'm in a different space now. Um, I've looked over my programs, I've written out three of the four and I have the concept for four of them. And what I would like to do is just share them with you so that maybe from your experience and perspective as a marketing coordinator could tell me if they sound in unison and if they're niche down enough. So to, yeah. to make sure that my focus is in the right place, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. It makes sense. You better believe it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the four programs that I'm planning on doing is one is going to be workout based leadership. Two is going to be nutrition based leadership. Three is going to be mindset based leadership. And fourth is going to be disciplined based leadership. So essentially how to eat, how to work out, how to think, and how to be a champ through my eyes and what it requires directly targeted for corporate professionals working a nine to five who need to come out of this pandemic, feeling good, eating good, thinking good, and living good is what is where my mind is at right now. And I just want to make sure that as I present that, that it doesn't become overwhelming when I'm speaking about working out, eating right, and thinking right. I wanna make sure that those are um, in alignment with one another and that they're not spread out messages. So just from your perspective and what you've heard, um, I would just appreciate some feedback. Well, uh, Rafa, I don't know if you can see the smile on my face right now, but yeah, you know, um, I, love, I love all of them. <laughs> <laughs> It felt, it felt good, bro. And look, it's, it's in alignment with who you are. You know, that's who you are. You, 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 you're, you're helping people, you know, come out of a sedentary lifestyle. You know, that's what you're supposed to do as a fitness instructor, as a health and wellness professional, as a health, you know, as a, uh, as a fitness professional. So I love the vibe of all of your signature programs. I believe you're going down the right road. That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Um, I love it. I love it that you picked up on when I was talking to, I believe it was uh, Ramon or either even when I was giving Tina some advice about her social media. You should be keeping up with the times that we're in. And for you right now, all of your signature programs, you know, obviously covering the physical, the mental, uh, even even a, even a spiritual connection to where people are right now. You know, people are really struggling mentally. And obviously right. movement helps them out tremendously whenever they want to overcome stress issues and things of that nature. So I believe, I believe that, that the time we're in, because it's a sedentary lifestyle, if you want to help executives out, if you want to help people that are, you know, do, uh, you know, working from home, you know, it's, it's every, every, everybody's is, is a fracture right now. And it's, it's a lot of separation because, you know, yeah, everybody says, oh, working from home is cool, but it has its, it has its price to pay for working from home. Teams are broken up and you don't have the engagement as you did before. You know, people are sick of Zoom meetings, things of that nature, even though it's going to be a mainstay for a long time. And it's a great way for us to connect, but you have the fallout that you have to deal with and your signature programs can act as a remedy to all the dysfunction that they have in the workplace right now. That is a huge advantage for you with your signature programs. As long as you help people understand that this is, this is the, the, the day and time that we're in right now, the pandemic is gonna cause an effect that's gonna last for decades. This is not going, any, it's not going away anytime soon. I'm talking about the mental, the mental uh, stress that this has caused, the anguish that it's caused. So of course, obviously, obviously we wanna bring in Rafa Escobar, so he can teach us how to feel better. He can right. teach us. He can teach us why. See, the, a, a big part of your signature programs is the why. Why? Why does Rafa want us to do this? 
Why does he want us to move? Why does he want us to be more healthy? Why, why, why? Now, if you do your research on, on what, the pan, what the pandemic has done to us, all of us, me, you, everybody, right. then, you, then you'll understand uh, why you should be designing signature programs. And, and watch this. It's just changing a couple of key words that speak to, the, to these meeting planners and these conference coordinators, and everybody has to do it. That is the pivot. You should always be willing to upgrade and tweak your marketing language to take care of people and meet them where they are in the day and time that we're in. And I'm telling you right now, if your signature programs are not dealing with the fallout of the pandemic and the, and the, and the disarray that these corporations and these teams are in individually and what they have to deal with as a, as a team, yeah, and it's, it's, it's going to hurt your revenue. It's just yeah. that. These conference coordinators yeah. need help, bro. They, they need somebody to throw them a life raft. They're all, yeah. they're all flopping around right now. There's, they still haven't figured out how to make this thing work through the pandemic. Some places, it's the pandemic is, uh, oh, no mask. Some places, you got a resurgence. I talk to people in different countries all around the world in the United States every single day. Some places are good, and some places are still bad. Some places act like, I don't think they've ever gotten out of <laughs> yeah so bro this is this is think about it if you were if you were one of those states and it's the summertime now everybody's getting outside think about if you one of those states or one of those countries where you're still on lockdown it's almost like it's not even fair but people the creative people have found a way to get out of it so rafa spot on with all your signature programs when you're going to get the when you're going to get them over to me so we can review them but 100% by Monday, I have, I, I did, I did what you told me not to do last week and I had a major learning lesson and I want to give you this feedback. You told me that I visualized myself with a microphone and the work already there. And what I realized that that does is it pulls me to the next step without already being there. So as I was writing my programs, it, rather than type out the second one, I started handwriting the third one and got ahead of myself, ahead of myself. And as I was talking it to Amy, like you told me to, <laughs> she was like, you need to go back and you need to type that second one and then move forward. And so it was a big learning experience because I still haven't done them, but I will get them done this week, hands down, for sure. Hey, Rafa, you're going in the right direction. Remember, one step at a time. This is a sprint. I mean, this is a, this is a marathon, not a sprint. We're in it with you all the way. Just take your time, go to the net before you go to the next step. We got to make sure yeah. we get all your signature programs approved, all the language in, wrap up your bio, and then move on to getting your sales tools done, bro. It's a nice, yeah. listen, we make it really easy to understand, but you cannot skip steps and we're not going to allow you to. All right? right. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, boss. Very welcome. Yes, sir. Anything you need. Amen. Okay, let me see. All right, let me see. Anybody else in the chat box? No. And any other questions that we have? Don't tell me we're going to have a short group call today. I don't see any other hands up um, as I'm talking right now. Uh, okay, I see Wayne. Wayne is... Wayne, talk to me. Hello, Coach. Hey, Wayne, how you doing? I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing bad. In fact, I'm doing... Uh... Fantastic. Listen, I um, I sent Austin a uh, note, <clears throat> and I had, my question was about when I'm I'm at I'm working on the uh, the the uh, web the website, okay, and I have a person working with me going to help me. He's uh, he's familiar with web design, mm -hmm. quite familiar. But one of the things I'm I'm looking at when I look at the top of the, the page on the template that you, that we have, okay, from you, okay. When I look at the top of the page where it says overview and about and reviews and free training and so on, uh -huh. when I look at those, I look at those and then I, when I'm thinking about the, the signature programs and then I'm thinking about the bio and the, and the photos and the, uh, uh, the videos, what, basically what he asked me is, he was asking me, how do I sync 
like the, say for example the the, uh, the signature programs how do i sync the signature programs to one of the the headings at the at that's at the top of the page or the the hyperlinks at the top of the page do they automatically will they automatically fall into the proper place or is there a way like when i'm in when i'm in the layout uh fit part on the uh uh on the on the template and does the page change so i can put the right portion of my information into the right set page on the uh the template you understand my my question's kind of clouded but i'm trying to figure out how to get the right things into the right place yeah and well, what there is a if if you if you follow the instructions that austin laid out are you into module five yet have you been in there have you been yes, inside? I've been around it, and, and um, <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> okay, well, there is a specific area for the video, for the signature programs, for the bio, all the information for your about uh, and your contact information. So that's all you have to do is is follow that and plug the information in there where it's supposed to go, and then get it launched. It will. It's supposed to. I'm supposed to see where it specifically is going to direct me to which information goes where correct correct okay all right I, 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 I missed it all right i gotta go back through it all and right listen, if you if and, and if you have um if, if it's any if it's any other thing that that austin can make a little bit more clear to you about where to plug in your information in the template it's all really laid out there real simple you just have to you have to plug in your information wayne this is the reason why we have you do the signature programs first this right. Is the reason why we have you do the bio first. Right. Because if you're going to use the template that we provide on our platform, then uh, the re the reason for to get your content organized and you took all the pictures and uh, and the contact information, all of that, because when you open up the template and you start, you get into edit mode, everything goes exactly where it's supposed to go. Signature right. programs here, bio here, about information here, contact information here. If you have a speaker video demo, boom, that goes right there. So you're going to see my information as a placeholder. You're going to take my information, I'll put yours in, and you know where everything is supposed to go. It's all yeah. laid out there for you. Yeah, I'm looking at yours right now. The, the first page is, is is simple because, you know, you got your headline, then you got your signature programs. All of it. <laughs> okay. All of it. All of it. We don't, we don't want to overcomplicate the process. The reason why we have that template is because you need a, a, a simple landing page where the conference coordinator can go and find out everything about your speaking. And when you're starting out, what you don't want to do is look like you're all over the place. True. You, just want, you just want them to be able to look at your signature programs, look at your about page. How can I get in contact if they're interested? Put your speaker video demo there. So, and, and also your speaker info kit should be downloadable. And that's the reason why before you get into module five and you start launching your website, you have to have all the sales tools done before. Just like I was telling Rafa, his students that skip around and they miss the major pieces and you can't afford to do that because all the pieces that you're missing are the pieces that the conference coordinator needs to see to make their determination. Hey, listen, Wayne, if your website looks anything like your new pictures, you're going to be all right. The pictures <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm working on the coach. I've, I've been I've been working hard on trying. I got to. I got to get rid of this job because it's taking most of my uh, valuable time, and, I, and I'm pretty close to moving away from that and being able to free up some 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 time during the day. So mm -hmm. these changes, some changes, will give me some more speed because I I'm way behind, way behind. I should be I should be way ahead of this by now. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just do this. If we all, if we, including myself, if we all measure ourselves on we're way behind we, we would never catch up so watch this we're all behind in something let's just zero out think about the things that you could do today to advance your goals pick a hard deadline when you're going to have those goals complete try to get there as quickly as possible put the work in and then when it's finished it's finished and that's just that's just the way it is don't stress yourself out over i'm being so far behind we have, we got to take care of the details. Remember, success is all about taking care of the details. And if you don't do that, then the conference coordinator has nothing to view that has value. The value is, this is how you substantiate the value, Wayne, last but not least. You substantiate your value through your signature programs. You justify your fee through your sales tools. 
And that is why when you ask for five thousand dollars, you can you can say it and mean it, and because the sales tools and the messaging are going to do all the talking for you. And that's the reason why the website has got to be real simple and easy to understand. When you do it the right way, the website is is a is a great tool. But what's really going to sell it, and what's really going to connect with the conference coordinators, you being able to have a conversation with them. And that's right. why I know how to manage your relationship with them the right way. And everything that you've done up to this point, remember, Wayne, the value is going to be found in your messaging and your sales tools. That's where the value is. And that's why you should be saying your signature programs out loud every single day. Because when you start talking to these conference coordinators, they're decimated. You're going to, you're going to start, all of them are going to sound like a broken record. Right. Well, Wayne, the pandemic, all of them, COVID-19, right. because of this, because I talk to them every single day. So when, when you're talking to them, you're going to start hearing that they all have the same problem. By the way, Wayne, your signature programs can help them remedy the major problems that they have because all of it is under the umbrella of leadership. You think I'm telling all of you to go in and leadership is going to be your Trojan horse and then your backstory is going to be what you're going to tell to the audience. But leadership, they need people. We need leadership right now. And it's your job to walk them through and tell them what, excuse me, what you can do to help because all of them need help right now. Remember there's medicine in your message. Listen, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question right now. It yeah. just so happens coach that right next door to me, a, a, a young lady came up to visit her parents from Florida mm -hmm. and, and uh, she grew up with my children, with my oldest, with my oldest daughter. Mm -hmm. She is a conference coordinator for, I don't know, it's, it's gotta be a, a major uh, uh, organization somewhere in Florida. Mm -hmm. And so I was talking to her and I mentioned to her that, you know, that uh, one of my uh, niches is uh, the association market. And she mm -hmm. said, that is a great market. Now, and here's the question. My question to you is, if, 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 if you could, right, if you were me and you could sit down with this young lady Mm -hmm. for just 20 minutes, 30 minutes, because we were neighbors, right? If you could sit down with her and you were in my spot, what kind of questions would you ask her? Because she's a friend. Mm -hmm. She's not like, you know, she's not somebody I'm trying to, you know, you know, she would assist me if I, if I had my, she would, I know she would assist me, but what kind of questions would you ask her if you were in my spot trying to gain some insight into what, how she, how she sees a uh, uh, professional speaker? Those questions are found right there inside of module number two in the sales script. Okay. And you can and you can you can walk them you can walk them through from top to bottom. First of all, she's in your target market because the first thing first thing we identify with is, are you speaking to your target buyer? Then it's like, okay, what niche are they in? Okay. And then, then your goal is to walk them into the needs assessment. That's asking them the questions about what it is that they need. So how have things been going through the pandemic? What type of association okay. work do you do? And then you want to let them know that I specialize in, and this is the exact verbiage that's in the script. You know, again, Wayne, I don't want you making up words. You're not that skilled at sales enough to do that. I want you to follow the exact script, even if you got to have it in front of you. Walk, yes. her, through, yeah. walk her through the questions. To, to help her help you and then okay. let her know are you the you know i mean ask her i should say you know are you the person that works with outside contractors or book speakers for your organization well no it, it, she may not be the person don't assume anything yeah. get, the fact. Yeah, okay. get the fact she may be remember typically in the corporate and association market or these meeting planners conference coordinators chair board or committee members they never act alone they always have at least two three other people that they got to answer to and sometimes it's more than that before they issue your purchase order and write that check never just one right. very rarely is it one person that makes up their mind that's why it's important that you have all these sales tools because they're going to email it they're going to forward it to other people they're going to say oh, i just talked to somebody named wayne and you know it's very interesting conversation that i had with him so ask her is she the person who works with outside contractors or who, who books speakers for your organization? It's a simple yes or no. Well, Wayne, no, I'm not. I'm actually one of the people on the committee right. who plans the conference, things of that nature. 
Okay, well, all right. Still, since you have a connect, utilize that and you wanna just let her know, hey, I'm a, uh, I'm a consultant and I work with companies uh, in your arena all the time on a regular basis. I, did, I helped them deal with a litany of challenges that they have faced coming through the global pandemic. See, that's just a new piece of verbiage that I threw in there because this is the day and time that we're in right now. If, right, you're, not, right. if you're not telling these conference coordinators that your signature programs can help them post pandemic, then you're doing it the wrong way. You got to speak to them. You got to speak to them in a language that they understand. If they have concerns about it, their, their audience is going to have concerns about it. The whole reason why they want to hire you is because you you know how to walk them through a proper needs assessment. Right, Selling, right. not convincing, Wayne. You just want to be able to position your brand and do the right kind of presentation and just give them the facts. And the facts are, is that I can help your organization. I am here to assist your association with your next conference goals. And the signature programs that I've created, they help in a multitude of areas like, and then you're just gonna recite the bullets. The reason why the bullets are there is because it has all the benefit language in there of how you're gonna help them get through their, uh, no, not, not only get through the pandemic, but achieve their goals, right. help them achieve all of their learning objectives, their desired outcomes, and give them all the key takeaways. It's real simple. Do some okay. business and then tell her how your signature programs can help them. And then see the key is Wayne, once you get her to say, oh, okay, Wayne, that makes a lot of sense. Now the next thing she's gonna ask you is, well, Wayne, uh, you might wanna wait to have that conversation with her because I guarantee the next thing, well, Wayne, cause she don't want you to talk her to death. So right. Wayne, you have a website or something I can go to and check out? You have a video I can look at? See? And until you get the, you see, these are the, this is why I try to tell all of you to slow down because, but, but guarantee before you start having this conversation with this, with this, uh, your contact, the first thing she's going to ask you is remember Wayne illustration beats conversation. Okay. They're going right. to want to see your signature programs. They're going to want to see what your offering is. They're going to want to go to your website, download the speaker info kit and download the speaker video demo. So if you don't have any of that stuff. Okay, I'll wait. I can, I, can, I can get to her anytime, so I, I know what to do, okay. Okay, right. all right, that's, yep. and that's great. That's great you have a contact. You can utilize that contact as a testing ground right. to talk to the rest of the conference coordinators. Wayne, get the rest of this stuff done and work with the webmaster, do whatever you gotta do. Submit 20 damn support tickets a day so we can get you to the money. Okay. You sure as hell deserve it, brother. All right. All right. I got you. I got you, coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Yes, sir. Talk to you real soon. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting questions about messaging, about branding, about marketing. Many of the students on our platform, they're all struggling. And they're at the same place in their speaker business. And I would just say this as we are winding down the call, unless there are any other questions and I don't see any, any other hands up right now. I don't see anything else in the chat box. Remember, if, you, uh, if you're a little shy, if you're not comfortable with answering questions on a group call, that's more than okay. You can submit a support ticket to support at speakerfocus.com. Ask questions in detail and you will receive detailed answers. We're not here. We're, this is not a yes man or woman platform. If, it's, if, it, if it looks horrible, I'm going to say it looks horrible in a professional way. <laughs> if, your, if your bullets are a little light, if it needs to be rewritten, I'm going to tell you that it's rewritten. Our job is to prepare you to deal with the conference coordinator. I want you to start thinking like the conference coordinator. Think about, think about it when you want a service. Think about when you go to a restaurant, don't you want the best service possible? Especially if you go to a five-star restaurant. When I go to a five-star restaurant, uh, I wanna make sure that all my silverware is nice and clean. I'm talking shiny, no spots. If I go to a premium steakhouse, I wanna make sure that when they bring out my salad wedge, I wanna make sure that it's right. I bet not see any brown, any wilted lettuce whatsoever. It needs to come right out of the right out of the cooler. 
It doesn't need to be frozen, but it needs to be real cold. I mean, these are all details. You think the conference coordinator is not paying attention to these kind of details. You're mistaken. So before you embarrass yourself, like I've done too many times and I can count, get your shit together properly and put together the right kind of messaging. Turn in your assignments to get feedback. How else, are you, how else do you think you're supposed to get better? I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to make you feel bad. I'm here to help you. The only way to help you is to send it in. If you're not training, you're not growing. This is what this platform is all about. You all are struggling with the same stuff. I've been through it before. There's not one of you in this, in this, on this coaching platform that we don't understand exactly where you've been, especially me. I understand being the speaker. Don't fight. Don't fight. Follow the system. Rico, talk to me, boss. Boss man, what's going on, sir? Doing great, man. Came off of a really great weekend. Got a chance to finish up a couple projects around the house. It's nice to unplug, not have to talk to anybody. <laughs> not like today. <laughs> oh, Rico, every little break I get at this stage in the game, brother. Uh, just turning 53, I believe me, I appreciate it. What's your question? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, mainly, uh, so many people probably ask the same thing. I mean, of course, you, I got your feedback on the uh, signature programs. You tell I'm trying to get it through. <laughs> hey, hey, Rico, and, uh... Rico, Rico, you're almost there, bro. You, hey, Rico, we got like one more revision. Like you, listen, the your your bullets are beautifully written. Right. You, I think a couple of them, you had to put it in a third person format. A couple of them were a little light. I believe, oh, I know what it was, Rico. It's the way you started out the opening paragraph. That's the only issue that I had. Yeah, okay, okay. Way so I gotta hit him in the mouth, pretty much, in a good way. It, Rico, you, you know what it was? That's, exa that's exactly <laughs> what it was. You you would tr you didn't jump into it fast enough to show me the value. In the middle of it, you start going real hard. I'm like, damn, he should have moved the middle part to the front part, but the way it was written, remember Rico, it should be, remember the example that I showed you inside the signature okay. program template. Okay. This educational and this, this, education, this yeah. educational and informational based program is designed to blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Right. In this session, you will learn how to blah, 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 blah. Okay. Learn more, be more, become more skilled, galvanize your team, earn more customer uh, support right. after this life changing presentation. You see? Okay. The right. reason I why I wrote it that way is because remember, excuse me. Rico, effective communication. You don't need to be good at it. You don't need yeah. to be great. It needs to be effective. You don't have to be the best speaker in the world, bro. It needs to be effective. Effective communication should feel good. Mm. To conference coordinator. That means when they read it, when mm -hmm. they hear it, it should feel good and it should sound good. And if okay. it doesn't, if it doesn't have any value, then they look at you like, Oh, he's like all the other speakers that I talked to. The other 25 motivational speakers that got on my nerves begging. Mm -hmm. They're going to hear the distinct difference, Rico, because of the way your signature programs are written because most speakers don't know how to do that. The top wow. speakers, all of them know how to do it. All of them understand that it's not about me, 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 me. I, 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 I stop being so self-absorbed and self-promoting. All I care about is how my verbiage can benefit the conference coordinator. Rico, I'm not even thinking about making the money. Right. I'm not. Money operates on a higher vibrational frequency. When you right. focus on delivering the service and you focus on doing the work, the byproduct of the service that you deliver and the hard work and the messaging and everything that we're teaching you is the money. Right. I call it a discipline of service. Mm. That's how you make money being a speaker. You put the conference mm. coordinators goals first. Mm. You put team first. Right. And you have that. You just, now what you gotta do is go to Rico. If you touch the, the bottom half of all four of your signature programs, I never speak to you ever again. 
Do not touch the middle part. It's the opening paragraph. It's the in you you just made a statement instead of saying in this educational or informational based program is designed to you need to you need to start it out like that and then tell me what what the program is going to do for who for you or who for now. there you go rico that's what the opening paragraph should do once you do that to all four of your opening paragraphs a minor adjustment send it over to me so we can approve it I believe your bio's already approved, and let's go right. ahead and through to working on your sales tools, bro. You, you, Rico, you're almost there. <laughs> Rico, I was, oh, Rico, I was pulling for you. I was like, ah, he almost made it. He almost had it. Man, I feel like I feel like MJ was when he, when he hit them. He missed one of those key shots. It rattled in and out. I think it was against the Pacers. It rattled in and out, and I'm like, oh, that was so close. That's what it yeah, felt like. It was close, really it was close, really right there. <laughs> but you, you got to know me by now. <laughs> we are not giving out A pluses unless it's an A plus uh, submission of your assignment. You're almost there, bro. Believe me, it's not that far. This is what I want you to do. I'm gonna make it real easy for you. Unless you got another. Okay. Question. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, it well, really is. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. For the other question, I want to tell you this. This is I'm gonna make it real easy for you. I go want ahead. you to go back in. I want out loud, Rico. I want you to read the opening paragraph that's in red in the original signature program template. I want you to read it out loud. Five times. Okay. Five times. I want you to look at what watch, watch, listen to the way it feels when you read it. Then I want you to read yours the way it is right now. And then I want you, I want you to listen, re, read yours out loud. Don't just say it to yourself because you're gonna catch the audio. Okay. And then I want you to say, okay, Kate, the one that KTR wrote feels like that. And the way mine feels is like this. You got to keep going back and forth, making a comparison with the way it feels, and then just modify the verbiage. Okay. And then you'll be all done. That's the only issue. I believe that's the only thing feedback that, that I was. Gave. That's it. That was that was the only one. I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh. But you know what? It's all good because uh, you know, when you're trained by the best, you know, the best don't just let you slide. So that's 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 the cool thing about it. I, I appreciate it, Rico. We appreciate it. Listen. Yeah. <clears throat> you're not that far off. We had a great conversation uh, prior to you even joining the coaching program. I knew that you you had the right kind of ideology and the right kind of mindset. They're gonna be on you like white on rice, bro. It's all gonna it's all gonna work out the way you want it to. Uh, what's your next question, by the way? Yeah, next question is so like you, I, and I see the similarities between us with the with the entertainment. Me, honest with you, I think the key thing for me. It's like focus. And, and what I mean by that is, it's not saying that what, what else I don't do is not important, mm -hmm. but I'm saying like this, what I'm doing here, like I got hit in the gut the other day in a good way, but okay. then it was like, it motivated me to be like, let me, get, let me go ahead and just bust this stuff out, you know, really. So I'm, I'm saying, how would you, and you being, you, did what you did, of course, in entertainment and then leading to the speaker. How would you probably know my background? And how would I, how would, how would you, I don't want to use the word balance because it ain't good. I would use the word prioritize. How okay. would you prioritize between the two? Okay. Between the music and the speaking, because I feel like this is a little bit more structured than what I do with the other. And how do I focus and finish and not necessarily kind of do 50% here, 50% there, but really be 100% focus? Well, what I always say is when you focus on one thing and you give it your all, it automatically raises the visibility of everything else. Now, I know you're a, um, you're a working entertainer, and yeah. which, is a, which is a credit to you. And, you know, obviously we can't pull the plug on that revenue that you're generating uh, from a couple sources right now. But what I would say is you have to, you have to have some type of wherewithal to get in the modules and get the assignments done and keep your head down and just stay consistent because eventually you're going to keep chugging away at it and you're not going to have anything left to do. And it's going to be ready. It's going to be time to get ready to go to, to market. Now, what I, what I learned and just to give you a little, uh, I'm going to back up a little bit. When I was a, a full-time entertainer, I was, you know, traveling all around. I was in the entertainment business. You know, I was all the way in it. I made five records, producing music, 
was on uh, was on tour with Notorious B.I.G. before he passed away and the Bad Boy Tour and a lot of other entertainers. Uh, uh, another close, uh, dear friend of mine, uh, old school rap legend Biz Marquis just passed mm -hmm. away last yeah. year. I spent years with uh, with Biz on the road and my dear friend Monty, uh, Monty passed away of colon cancer about five years ago. So it was it was it was another tough loss for the hip hop community because mm -hmm. I, I think I thought about all the good times that we shared and uh, many, many, many lessons that I learned from Biz when we were on the road and, and, um, and, and me and Monty chasing our dreams, you know, back in the day. So what I did was when I was in entertainment, when I was young, I was all the way in it. When I was a full-time real estate investor, I was a full-time real estate investor. Speaking was in the background always. Sometimes it was part-time, but then you know what happened? Something happened when I got older and I started learning marketing. And I said, I wish I had known this when I was 18 because I would have made this more of a priority. Speaking, mm -hmm. speaking income, when you get it going, is very stable. It really is because, but you gotta have the value first. See, right. when, you, when you realize that, damn, I could be speaking five, 10, I mean, bro, I, I had to turn down engagements and I used to do over a hundred every single year. In 2007, I did 152 tour dates internationally because I was taking bookings from everywhere and I was gone all the time because I'm a road dog. I'm a real entertainer. I actually like being on the road. Not every speaker is going to be like that. We got speakers on our platform. They don't want to tour on them. They want to do all their stuff virtually. Mm -hmm. Some speakers are, we got some speakers on our platform are young. They haven't had that experience of being on tour. They're hungry for that. Me, I'm going to be speaking forever. They're going to literally have to peel the mic out of my dead fingers in mm. order for me not to do this. Mm. So you got to, when you make it a priority, Rico, eventually speaking is going to dominate and take over. Spe believe me, you let speaking start making more money than everything else you're doing right now. You see how fast you make it a priority. <laughs> but, you, <Right. laughs> but you can't see, that's what happened to me. See, I got tired, I got tired of, the, of the market falling out of real estate. I got tired of, of, of making five, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars one year. And then the next year, you know, you don't know how you're gonna eat because the market went went to uh went crazy. Right. I got tired okay. of jumping on this tour and jumping on this tour and then making a record and then doing a show and then not doing a show, inconsistent, right? When you get when you get tired of inconsistency, and all of a sudden, when I start speaking and I start booking engagements, even when I was just, just working the, the high school in the in, in that kind of market. Mm -hmm. Man, when you start making five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars a month speaking, and it changes your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Again, you'll smarten up real fast and say, and this is the reason why I want you to put the effort into getting your messaging and all the sales tools right, Rico, because now you have another offering. Okay. You have something to offer the conference coordinator that's real. This isn't pie in the sky. This is real. You can have, you can leave your job with this. I see people do it all the time on our platform and other areas. You have to have a plan. If your job or your other career is getting in your way right now and it's, it's, it's prohibiting you from doing speaking, then I say do more to get through the modules and learn the curriculum. S send in more assignments, send in more support tickets. Eventually you're going to say, you know what? I'm going to be to the end. I'm ready to start doing outreach with coordinates. I love it when somebody sends us a support ticket and they say, KTR, uh, boom, messaging is approved. Boom, all the sales tools are approved. Website, speaker video demo, speaker info kit, boom, approved. Mm. You got all your stuff set up. You already went through module five, two, three, four, five times. Submit some support tickets to Austin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rico, do the work and I don't promise it to you. I guarantee you the reward will last you for a lifetime, but you gotta build that value. And that's what we're going through right now. You're almost there. Listen, you're 85% there with your signature programs. That, that add value right now to any conference coordinator that will read what you have to offer. Now we gotta finish. And then we gotta move on to the next stage. Begin with the end in mind, Rico. Begin with the end in mind, reverse engineer it. I know you, I know you want, the cash and the microphone. Don't focus on the cash and the microphone. Focus on the service. Focus on getting the work done right now. And then all the money that you want will come.
Got any other questions? No, I, I, I really do appreciate it. It really helped me a lot. And uh, I can't wait to jump right to it as soon as we get out the call. Yeah, Rico, the same, the same kind of discipline that you have being a musician and sitting in the studio and mixing a record for 20 hours, 25 hours, staying in the studio two, three, four, five days with no sleep, barely had a shower, ordering some takeout. You know what that feels like, right? <laughs> wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. R Rico, you know what that feels like, right? Right, even if I ain't the one mixing it, I know what about being in there. <laughs> okay, guess what? A whole lot of times I wasn't doing the mixing either, but I was still in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I was telling you. them, I was telling them how I wanted my vocals to sound. I was telling them how much reverb needs to go on this, this, that. The bottom line is, <laughs> Rico, <laughs> the bottom line is that's the kind of hours that you have to rack up with building your speaker business. Now, the faster you can get those hours out the way the faster way I can get you to the money. Okay. I just need you finishing the assignments, bro. And listen, right now with what you got going on, you're pacing, you're actually doing, you're, you're going through the program at a nice pace. Okay. You're not going through sl too slow. So don't be so hard on yourself. Remember one step at a time. This is the hardest thing for me to get students to understand. Everybody wants to rush. Just take your time, finish the assignments and move on to the next. Once you got the signature programs behind you, that's actually one of the hardest things on our platform. The next hardest thing is making sure you got all your automations and stuff set up because everybody struggles with technology. But that's what you got Austin for to help you understand it and simplify all of it. So that's what we well, that's, well, that's good. That's good you say that. The good thing about it, I've actually kind of blessed with someone who's like one to intern with me <laughs> to help me with uh, help me with the back ends. <clears throat> type of thing okay. so um yeah. so yeah man I, I i really am excited about that i know this part getting through this part 85 percent through the signature programs i know once i get past this and with the sales tools automation yeah. and even with austin i know it's going to be a great impact but it's just this this one here and i, I i'll get it done yeah I'll no problem that. We, look forward to, we look forward to seeing your next submission real soon appreciate it have a good evening boss you too now talk to you Okay, uh, Mr. Escobar, we had Octavia uh, is up. Actually, I saw both of your hands go up at the same time. So on our platform, I, uh, Rafa, ladies are always first. So uh, Octavia, talk to me. First of all, good afternoon, coach. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm doing super fantastic. How about you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Um, so I feel like I'm the, the baby in the family here <laughs> um, in terms of um, where I am. So, you know, we've talked about that, like very much behind when it comes to, um, I heard you say the illustration beats conversation. Yes. I have a, a, a large mountain to climb before I get to that part. You know, I'm still trying to get the programs together. So I just wanted some of your feedback. Um, okay. I know you saw it. There was a lot. Um, that I put there, you needed it more uh, formatted, uh, more concisely. Um, but what else do you have for me, Coach? Well, what I saw in there, again, your signature programs were written beautifully. I clearly see that, you know, the fact that you're an educator and a teacher, that, that was coming out. That was yeah. very prevalent in your ideology and your approach to your leadership programs. So remember, what you did was you filled out the entire signature program uh, worksheet. And that's cool because you had everything in there. Now what I need you to do is strip out all the answers. And then remember in the support ticket, I sent you a uh, the, the scaled down version of the template. Yes. So I just need you to plug in all the information where it's supposed to go. I believe that your signature program, uh, the, the way they were written, it was written in third person. You had great opening paragraphs and you had great bullets. I didn't, I didn't really feel the issue with the content. Okay. All I, all I believe the, the, the verbiage that I gave to you was that I just needed you to, to make, just follow the, the template and scale it down and just, just put all the answers in there where they're supposed to go and just send it back over to us for review. That's really all I said to you. Oh, awesome. Okay. So let me ask a question about that then. So yeah. with the first portion of it, where you have um, the list of the signature programs and the three bullet points, what were you looking for there? Just maybe uh, just some main points about what it was or? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of students, they um, sometimes they, they, they leave that part out. That mm -hmm. actually doubles as your signature program page and you'll actually see that 
in the top of the template, it says signature program page. Yes. Slash speaker one sheet. Uh, when you go, when you go to, when you start designing your speaker info kit, that yes. that one that one page right there is okay. going to have all your signature programs. It's going to have your mainstay headline, mm -hmm. that five word formula, that leadership strategies that magnify success, for example. Yes. And then and then under that is going to be the title to your first signature program and three bullets that describe that title. And then you will see that happen for signature program number two, three, and four. Then it breaks out your all your signature programs with an opening paragraph. And then after this program, you will be able to with five additional bullets. Now those bullets should be different than the three bullets up there located on the signature program page. Do you understand? Understood, yes. Yeah, that's the that's the reason for that because it what, what it really boils down to, Octavia, is this. Yes. Is that organization is the foundational principle of success. Mm -hmm. And you can organization is like money. You can never have enough of it. And you can never deliver enough value to the conference coordinator. The more you give them to read, the better off they are. Okay. Remember, when I say illustration beats conversation, motivational, inspirational speakers, they have a habit of talking too much. Mm -hmm. Professional speakers, the ones that earn the lion's share of the revenue in this industry, they know to put together the right sales tools. They know to put together the right messaging, the opening paragraphs, the bullets. When the conference coordinator reads that, they need to get a clear and simple idea of what you're bringing to the table. And that's the reason why we have you, excuse me, that's the reason why we have you create those. So you, you're you over delivering is what you're doing. Yes. And, and everybody does it the opposite way. They act like giving, them, giving away free information. I remember when I first learned how to manage my social media properly, I would get inbox messages. Bro, you should be charging people for this. Why are you giving away so much free information? Because I'm building relationships. If I give you this much information for free, Imagine what you're going to be like when you actually start doing business with me. Think about the impact on that. And that's why you should be dropping free videos, helping the conference coordinator manage their career, help them reduce their level of stress, your leadership programs. And by the way, Octavia, yours were written beautifully. Thank you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't have an issue with the way they were written because when I was reading them, I'm like, okay, she got it. It's they're all in third person. You talked about the value that you're going to have for the conference coordinator. Now, I skimmed over them because it was so much information to read. Once you resubmit it in the template on the scale down version, then I'll go over everything with a fine tooth comb, give you any feedback whatsoever. I believe that once you once you submit that that next, uh, well, once you uh, put in your next submission and your next support ticket, I believe we're going to approve your signature programs. You can move right on. Uh, and the signature programs and the bio, and you can move right on to module two to start with your sales tool. Coach, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. We give A pluses where A pluses are due. And when you turn in an assignment that's like that, again, you being a, a teacher and an educator, I clearly saw they were beautifully written. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve because that is setting the foundation for your uh, enti entire speaker career. We're happy to help you, Octavia. All right. Thank you. Okay. You be well. I'll talk to you real soon. Okay, let me see. Uh, Mr. Escobar, thank you so much for your patience. Thanks for being a gentleman. Of course, of course. It's the only way, KTR. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad. Hey, look, R Rafa, I always ask people when I don't see these young men being gentlemen, the first thing I say is who raised you? <laughs> right. <laughs> Where'd you learn that from? Clearly. Come on now. Yeah. Where'd you learn that from? Because. Come on now. <laughs> oh, man. So, hey, thank you, bro. I, I'm glad we cut from the same cloth. What's your What's your uh, other question, Rafa? I'm with you, man. Here's the thing is you were talking about the frequency of money, right? And I, it hit me to the soul when you said a couple of things there. And the one thing I want to ask you was, one, what was the second thing you said? When you spoke about the frequency of money, you said to not focus on the money but to focus on the hard work. And then there was one other thing. Uh, and in no. addition, oh, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. I was going to say, and in addition to that, can you just tell us more about your kind of your perspective on, on the frequency of money and what to really be focusing on and how to really once and for all take away that mic and that vision out the head and really focus on what matters, the value and the work. So 
Hmm. I just want to hear a little bit more of your perspective on that because it just hit to my soul. No, I got you. I got you. No, no, no problem. No problem. Well, let me let me clarify what I said. I said money operates on a higher vibrational frequency. Now okay. you're talking about, uh, you know, the formidable laws of the universe. And one of them yeah. is the law of attraction. So the law of attraction simply states that the laws of attraction that govern the universe state that whatever you have on your mind, you are going to consistently attract it into your life. So when I say money operates on a higher vibrational frequency, these are just principles of wealth that I have been studying for a long period of time. That's how I got myself in a, in a, a leveraged position when it came to real estate. That's how come I, I was able to ascend with speaking. Like I literally could see it first, but I never was thinking about making a million dollars. I never was thinking about, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire. I never was thinking about anything like that. What I was thinking about was how can I do, see, I'm a team first person. That's the way I've been since I've been a little kid. Okay. I'm always thinking about how I can help somebody else first. If you watch this, if you listen to all of the founding fathers, and if you, if you have not studied these, these gentlemen, you need to study them. You need to go back and study okay. Zig Ziglar. You need to go back and study Nito Quibane. You need to go back and study Jim Rohn. You need to go back and study Brian Tracy. You need to go back and study the early Tony Robbins. You need to go back and study Jim Britt. You need to go back and study uh, all, all the, uh, 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 Earl Nightingale. All these guys were the founding fathers of the self-help movement. This stuff has been around since the 40s and the 50s. Positive thinking. So most people that are wealthy is the reason why they're wealthy. Most of them didn't get it through inherited wealth because they had a trust fund or they had a parent that, that left them a whole lot of money if they were wealthy. You're talking about the top one to 3%. The majority of multimillionaires, they're self-made. Now these, all of them, if you go back and study uh, one, of, one of my favorite books in my, in my library, I have over 1500 books in my personal library. If you go back and, and look at one of my favorite books is, is The Millionaire Next Door. And you look okay. at, it's a mindset. Money is a mindset. But most people, they're focusing on the money. And that's why they, they don't stay inside the vortex. The vortex, they also call it the zone. The zone is where it feels like you could do no wrong. Michael Jordan talked about when he was in the zone, he felt like the, bat, the, the, the hoop to the basket, it just, it, just, it just was oversized. It was like an ocean. No matter where he shot it, no matter where he yeah. threw it, it was going to go in there. When, yeah. you're in, when you're in the zone, you are, you are in alignment with the laws of the universe. And the first thing I work out of is the law of gratitude. I'm grateful for the position that I'm in with, with my business partners. I'm grateful of the position that I'm in as a person, as a family man, as a friend, as a business associate, as your speaker coach. I'm grateful for all of that stuff. See, when my heart doesn't have any type of malice in it. I, I don't, I'm very forgiving. I don't want to hold on to negative energy. I don't want hostility. I don't want to hold on to anything like that because you know what that's doing? They call it blocking your blessings. But what that's doing is it's a distraction away from my subconscious mind connecting with universal law. And in order for your subconscious mind to get in alignment with the universe, you got to be free and clear up here, bro. So I'm not thinking about making $100 million with Austin. What I'm thinking about is I got to help Rafa right now. I don't give a damn about nothing else that's going on in the world. This man asked me a question. I have a discipline of service. Most people are thinking about the money and that's why they don't make money. Well, as soon as you start focusing on the mindset, as soon as you start focusing on how can I serve other people? I can't, watch this. I wake up every single day taking people to school about professional speaking because I'm passionate about it. I don't want people like, bro, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission so people don't have to go through seven years worth of turmoil the way I did. You know why? Because back then I was chasing money. You look at all of my, all of my mentors, this, this kingpins in this industry, Dr. George C. Frazier. Dr. Frazier told me when I first met him, never chase money. He just told another one of my dear friends, don't chase money. That's one of his, that's one of his principles of wealth. Another principle of wealth is giving. You got to give, give, give. You know what service is, Rafa? Giving. 
The reason why our platform is the way it is right now is because Austin thinks the same exact way as me. The only thing that matters is the customer. The only thing that matters is the service experience. The only thing we think about every single, see, I don't focus on the money, Rafa. I focus on how I can be, be the best CEO possible. Austin focuses on being the best CTO. When we get a support ticket, why, bro, we're not nice and shining armor over here. We go through problems as well. Guarantee you, when we go through a challenge on this platform, we figure out a way to fix it. If you want big success, you're going to run into big problems. And another thing is I focus on solving the problem. I know how to solve problems really, really quick. Most people buckle under the pressure. So what I would say to you as a young entrepreneur, number one, I said, remember, it's, it's money operates on a higher, higher vibrational frequency. That's why they call it cash flow, Rafa. Cash right. flow, money flows. Money flows in and out, in and out all the time. If you don't have the right kind of service, it's gonna hurt your cash flow. If you don't have the right kind of product with the value in it, it's gonna hurt your cash flow. See, we focus on the value of delivering the service properly and then we make money. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm telling you right now, I feel like you just took like 30 books that you've read, if not more, and condensed them down into two minutes. So thank you so much for well, all that energy. You're thank welcome. you for because, that knowledge. Because watch this. You got to live it, Rafa. You got to live yeah. it. You, now, now, you're right. Because I didn't, I didn't create the law of attraction game by no means. Dr. Bob Proctor is another, is another, he, he is a pioneer in the self-help industry. This, this right. wasn't as big as it is right now with all these coaching platforms and all these, all these speakers. So first of all, you're welcome. Secondly, remember, money operates on a higher vibrational frequency. That therefore, your subconscious mind is where all your level of skill resides. It's where your memory is. You have something located in the back of your brainstem called your RAS, your reticular activating system. The more you force in new learning, the sharper your recall ability becomes. So how do you think I'm able to access these millions of bits of data because I force in new learning every single day, bro. I'm a junkie for new information and research. I do research every single day. I at least dedicate two hours of my day. Now, maybe not straight through, maybe on the weekends I do. I constantly read, read, research, research, this, 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 so I can get better at my niche because one thing about it for sure is that people are going to constantly keep asking you questions about your level of expertise. You can't draw a blank. You can't get the deer in the headlight syndrome. But a lot of people block the money because they don't focus on the service. They don't focus. See, and that's why you got to do something, Rafa, that you're really passionate about. You got it, young man. You headed in the right direction. You're passionate about people being more healthy. You're passionate right. about fitness. When you live it and you breathe it, you want nothing more. Watch this. Focus more on the service of how you can get more people healthy and watch that microphone jump into your hand. And it's not going to happen by accident. It's going to happen because you got all the work done. See, but Rafa, it takes discipline to sit in the work right now and get the assignment done without thinking about, damn, boy, I can't wait, man. I'm a, I can't wait. My, my blue suit, I'm going to look real good when I get on stage with the blue suit. <laughs> no, bro, that's the reward. <laughs> I, I just saw myself right when you said that. <laughs> Rafa, you just like me, bro. I know how you think. Hey, bro, yeah. I used to think the same thing. I'd be like, man, I can't wait to go buy a brand new outfit so I can get on stage. That's all I used to yeah. care about when I was in my 20s, right? And then I yeah. started realizing that the, the performance piece and what I wear is like the reward. I do love to look professional when I go speak. That's part of delivering the service. That's a part of it. All of it is service, Rafa, no matter what industry you're in, please remember that when you focus on the service, you focus on solving problems for other people. You focus on helping other people. So you're not a real leader unless you teach other people how to get money, unless you teach other people what you know how to do. And it all starts with what's inside your heart. You got it? Right. Absolutely, KTR, man. Hey, round of applause, bro. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> you, that was amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. You're very welcome, man. I'm humbled that you that you feel that you got some, some great information. Bro, all I do is speak from the heart and pull them pages out of my personal playbook of when I didn't know, but I know now. And see, the reason why I know is because I'm a practitioner. You got it? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Do it. 
Okay, boss. That's right. That's right, man. Listen, yeah, yeah, don't it. focus on Rafa. Don't focus on anything else. Just do the work. Be about the work, bro. Keep your head down and don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You're going to get your, believe me, that microphone is going to be in your hand and you're going to be speaking on that stage and you're going to travel all over the world. I didn't know how that was possible until I let go of chasing the money. Uh, Got it? There it is. Yeah, that was it right there. Okay, bro. <laughs> I feel you. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be bringing this <clears throat> group call to a close. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, Terry, thanks so much for the kind words. Great conversation from Terry. Um, uh, Tina Marie, very valuable. Thanks so much. I appreciate all the kind words, all the comments that, that I receive, all the, uh, the text messages, by the way, all the support tickets, all the the, the nice things that everybody says, you know, this is the reason why you want to do business in the right kind of niche, because when you're in your niche, number one, it doesn't feel like work, even though it's tiring, but it's very fulfilling. See, fulfillment is what's going to wake your ass up at three o'clock in the morning when it comes time to start your day. See, if you're getting up at three, four, five o'clock in the morning, you got a jump start four, five, six, seven hours before anybody even starts their day. That's what gets you up in the morning is fulfillment. Purpose wakes you up in the morning. Everybody talks about your why. You better understand what the why is. I understand what my why is. It's, it's, it's hard for people to comprehend and understand, but this is what I was put on earth to do. At this stage in my career, it's meant to me to give back the way I'm giving back right now so you don't have to go through the struggle. See, it takes... Uh, it takes pioneers got to take it on the chin for everybody else. Sammy Davis Jr. took it on the chin for a whole lot of African-Americans so they could they could get bigger entertainment contracts. Les Brown, my dear friend, my mentor, my colleague, Les took it on the chin in a lot of ways so I could charge $50,000 USD for one hour. You got to be worth the money. You can't just go out and ask for the money and you sure as hell can't chase it, but I don't promise it to you. I guarantee you, you put in the work the right way in this industry, you're going to look back over a long career. You're going to look back on a long career serving other people. And that's how you're going to really be able to create some generational wealth in this industry, especially when you got technology powering uh, the machine behind you, which we're going to teach you how to do as well. Take it in stages, everybody. Keep it, keep take it in stages, and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna master this level, and then you're gonna move to the next level, and then you're gonna move to the next level. Before you know it, you're gonna be talking to conference coordinators on a regular. This is not pie in the sky. This is real, and I'm here to share my story with you. I'm here to share these experiences that I've had in the speaking industry. I'm here to help you in any way I can because if I, I would never ask anything of you to go out and utilize with your clients unless you see us demonstrated here to you on a speaker focused platform before. That's the reason why you see the level of consistency and predictability. You're gonna, we're consistent with the way we answer the questions. We're consistent with the way we, uh, with, with the way we show up and help you on a group call. We're consistent with support tickets. There is, there's no cutting no corners. I talk to you like this from the beginning and I'm going to be talking to you like this all the way through because I want you to get to the money. But I also want you to do the work and build your speaker business properly so you don't embarrass yourself when you get in front of the conference coordinator like I had to do for many, many years. Now, with that being said, thanks so much, everybody. Rico, I appreciate it. <laughs> Rico said, you keep it real, no BS zone. That's right. I don't have time to play games. You, you, you put your dream in our possession. We want to make sure that we're helping you out in many ways as possible. Thank you so much for everybody that participate on the group call, the ones that ask questions, even the ones that don't. Keep submitting those support tickets. Keep them coming in. Um, Octavia, uh, very helpful feedback. Truly appreciate everything everyone has shared and the honest coaching KTR. Hey, listen, my mother raised me this way. This, this is my mother. When you, when you see this blistering truth, this is the way my mother raised us. She wouldn't allow us to talk a bunch of slang in the house all the time. You had to read a book, even on summer vacation. Articulation was important to my mom. So when I'm, when I'm and my mother served other people, and I saw that from a very, very 
young age. I had the poorest white friend in my neighborhood and I had the poorest black friend in my neighborhood and we were all best friends. You know why? Because we weren't judging each other for what they had. And I'm still that way even to this day. I don't give a damn about what you have versus what you don't have. I know talent when I see it. And every last one of you on this platform has talent. You have a level of skill. Now our job is to help you package it so you can be compensated for it properly because I'm disgusted when I see somebody get underpaid. And if I got anything to do with it, I'm not gonna allow it to happen. I want you compensated properly, but I also want your business looking professional the right way because when it's done the right way, the conference coordinator will go find your money. Uh, Wayne, I think we got one more comment in here. Let me see, do we have another question? Oh, oh, Jonathan, okay. Uh, I like the way you focus on service. Um, it is spiritually based and you are right. It's the foundation of making a living in a profound way. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Jonathan is a brand new student on the speakerfocus.com platform. Thanks so much. I gotta type that back in there to him real quick. Okay, with that being said, <clears throat> I don't see any more hands raised. That means that we are bringing the group call to a close on behalf of everybody on the speakerfocus.com platform. Our team is growing, uh, our, we're, we're expanding, we're building, we have moved into new countries that we're servicing, Finland, Australia, uh, all over the world. Uh, we are growing by leaps and bounds and we wanna thank you for your testimonials. We wanna thank you for your participation. You truly make us who we are and what we are and we surely couldn't do it without you. On behalf of the staff from speakerfocus.com, I am Kevin T. Robertson, CEO. We will catch you right here, same time, same place next week. Submit any support tickets that you have, and we'll be happy to help you grow your speaker business as well. Talk to you real soon.